it's like a it's like a buffet of targets. Wow, eh. We're moving in on oh! oh, Yo! Yo! <laughs> I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna crash! Yeah, that intro clip by Dracula isn't quite how I'd fly a BF-109 myself, but hey, if it works, it works. Hello guys, and welcome to the second episode of the Battlefield Top 10 Plays, the series where I go over the very best clips sent through by you guys, and I attempt to rank them. As it turns out, ranking such incredible plays can be really hard, and I am super stoked with the quality of clips this week. If you have a clip of your own to submit, head down to the description where it explains exactly how and where to send your clip. Finally, if you guys enjoy Battlefield content, be sure to hit the subscribe button, especially coming around to BF6. I'm going to have a pretty much unlimited stream of content for you guys, and hopefully we can provide some good stuff, some useful content, and help you guys along the way. Anyways, with all that said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so at the number 10 spot, we have a huge spray down by Casual Farmer. Dude does YouTube, and he does this to people. Farms casuals, incredible clip, man. This guy is the king of spray downs at this point. Now in the number 9 spot we do have Archer BF, back on Battlefield 3, definitely a fan favourite here, using the M16 on Operation Metro. He's working through the flank here, just methodically picking off these enemies. Not going to be a massive spray down clip like before, but I do like these clips where the player has to think a bit more, uh, move through all the enemies, make sure he checks absolutely everything, and if done right, it's very rewarding. So he finds the guy there, obviously on the minimap, easy spot. He's going to work up these stairs here, and he will actually check the top floor, this is something I really like. Make sure there's no one there that can catch him and shoot him in the back. Now he hears someone coming up the stairs, it's an easy kill right there, and he's using the top floor now as a kind of advantage point because he took it for himself. Now that move right there, I've never actually seen that, I've played some Metro in my time, but I've never seen that move done before, I really like that. And just moving up the stairs again, just really outplaying people with his movement, his aim is perfect here as well. And finally, he could have ran through these enemies and got a few and then got sprayed in the back, but because he plays it slow, he gets rewarded with way more kills, does extremely well, bit of Euro hit fire there. If you guys don't know what that mechanic is, let's hope it doesn't return in BF6, or maybe it does. I don't know, I don't really like it that much, but basically you can ADS and then go to hip fire and you'll be perfectly accurate in BF3. It's called Euro Hip Fire, and he uses it very well here. Destroys a lot of people, 15 kill streak, very nice. Now coming in at the number 8 spot, we do have Gaming Hog going on an absolute tear with the M1907. Definitely one of the best guns in Battlefield 5, even though you don't see it used very often. Now what he's done here is he's put down an artillery strike, so all these enemies are going to be very low health, pushing towards him to get out of it, and he's put himself in a brilliant position to take care of all of them. Just a really smart, calculated play. Plays it very smart, doesn't overpeak, doesn't overextend at all. Just lets the enemies come straight towards him, which is what you want to do. That is the, the best way to play these kind of situations, and I just love the way he plays it at the start here. Now once he's cleared this out and he gets him more confident, he's going to push through here, and he's going to go to the, what's that, C flag, which we'll see. Uh, aim there is a bit questionable, but he does get the first guy, which is all he needs, and the last guy misses him, which is nice. Gets to push through here, gets one more. M1907 is definitely more of a laser at that range when you tap fire it, but he has got good recoil control. He can make it work by spraying it. Nice little headshot there to take care of that guy. He's going to keep pushing down on this little flank. This is often what you want to do. I mean, if you're pushing a flag and you know you're going to be very outnumbered, you want to be peeking from somewhere where your teammates aren't going to peek from because the enemies will most likely be looking at your teammates. So he does that really well. As I said, the enemies are looking at his teammates. He shoots them in the back. That's not because the enemies are necessarily really bad. It's because he's played it really well. Fortunately, he does get taken down here, but a very nice clip nonetheless. Now, at the number 7 spot, we do have Mazer, who's going to be hitting one of the nicest toes I've seen in a long time. It literally overshoots him, and he brings it right back down. Not only that, but he hits it on a very good player. I know the player he hit, personally. Very good jet pilot, very good player. That almost adds to the clip itself. Now, he's going to be sending in some scout heli clips as well. I do love these scout heli clips because, in my opinion, it's one of those vehicles that requires a lot of aim, a lot of mechanics, and if done right, it has huge clip potential. And now he's going to be pushing onto this A flag and just look at these enemies ready to go. His aim is on point, hitting the first few shots every time, absolutely melting through them. Now, coming in at the number 6 spot, we do have Careless. He is a Twitch streamer, and he absolutely destroys people on Battlefield 4. I do watch him a fair bit. Now, one thing you'll notice with his clips is his movement is absolutely mental. It makes him really hard to hit. Like, players like who can play like this, extremely hard to go against. Now, he's going to be using the AK and the G18 for these first few clips. I know it's not very creative, but he'll get to something more interesting later. But yeah, what I really like about these clips is the movement. I know that movement isn't for everyone. I know a lot of people actually don't like BF4's movement, but... 
Yeah, I'd be interested to know. Do you guys want to see this in BF6 or not? Now, here's when he pulls out the Magnum and now the Mare's Leg. I do love these Mare's Leg clips. He is kind of known for them at this point. Just quickscoping people with the gun, absolutely destroying them. Now, this clip right here, collateral with the Mare's Leg, absolutely ridiculous. And now, back onto a suppressed AEK, something you don't see every day for sure. And just absolutely target switching the hell out of these guys. Very nice. Now, in the number five spot, we do have an insane farm by Nustaya. This clip kind of hits me in the feels a bit. You'll see why in a second, but just look at all those white dots. This is the kind of situation that every single attack Kelly Gunner dreams to be in. Now, just unlimited kills, and right about here, he does get KPM banned from the server. Now, this has happened to me many times, probably 10 plus times from one of the servers I usually play on, and I just felt for him there, so I had to put the clip in. Now, the next clip Nastaya sent me is probably one of the most textbook AA farms I've seen on Zavod. Now, the AA on Zavod is just kind of infamous for destroying absolutely everybody if it has the right team surrounding it, and he's going to be doing exactly that, doing the name Casual Farmers Association extremely proud, just by tearing through some casuals here, really. So yeah, he's going to be tearing through that MRAP there, you know, getting a bigger point streak even, and I don't know if he gets 2,000 here, but he certainly does well. Again, this guy does have a YouTube channel. I will link it in the description. He's a really, really good player. One of the biggest farmers on Battlefield that I've ever seen. Just absolutely flawless AA player here. Well done. Now, coming in at a number four spot, we do have Geordie 1 1 with an insanely clean MP40 streak. But after this, he also hits something that. I mean, it's just incredible. But starting with this streak, just absolutely perfect aim. Geordie is known as probably the best infantry player on console. I don't know if people in the comments will agree with me there, but I know Max said it on stream, and I do agree. His, his game sense, his aim, he's one of the top competitive players as well. Just an absolutely insane player on the sticks. Anyways, Geordie does have a YouTube channel as well. I'd recommend checking that out. I think he's got like a thousand slang subs now. He's basically getting the grind going, and hopefully we can see his channel blow up with BF6, because... I mean, I'm not going to doubt it at all. This guy is going to be at the top of BF6 for console at least. Absolutely insane player. I mean, look at this feed right here. I don't have to say anything else. Just well done, man. Now, Ascend Varox is going to be taking the number three spot. Again, he's got a YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. But if you like these kind of sniper highlights, the guy is absolutely... He's just a freak on the snipes, all right? He's insane with it. Anyways, we're going to be seeing that aggressive recon style that I haven't seen since probably 2015, to be honest. But basically, that involves taking the sniper away from the hill, chucking it on the objective, and then seeing how it goes. Anyways, how it goes in this clip is a lot of headshots, a lot of kills, and again, counter-sniping that guy out there, getting rid of him. Guy's pushing him from the left to try to defend the objective. Vrox is having none of it, pulls out the G18, gets one more kill. I think that was a 15-piece, to be honest. Absolutely insane clip, man. Now, he did send me two more clips as well. This one's going to be Operation Mortar with the N98B. Again, on the Rush game mode, I've noticed that all these clips are on Rush, and, I mean, for good reason. Rush is a really, really good game mode for sniping. A lot of players focusing in on an objective, or as a defender, you have a lot of snipers to kill, a lot of people, like, kind of post it up. That is another very good way to play. I remember on Breakthrough in Battlefield 5, I used to bust out the sniper quite a lot. It's just that effective. Anyways, he's on a 1500 point stack at this point, and it's just not slowing down at all. He's killing absolutely everyone he looks at. Reloads the, the old M98B just to get one more kill here. That is an insane streak, man. But, again, doesn't stop here. He's going to give us one more clip. Last clip from Varox here on Operation Locker. And this kind of sniper clip is maybe my favorite one I've seen in a long time. You'll see why here. He doesn't even zoom out. He's got the straight pull bolt and he's making use of that. Firing off these shots absolutely as fast as he can. He doesn't have time to waste. He's going to be getting through all these enemies. 1420 point stack right now. Make that 1545. And yeah, that is just an absolutely insane feed. Now in the number two spot, some of you probably can already tell by this style of gameplay, but this is Enders himself. Look, at this point, you cannot dispute it anymore. He is the best player to touch Battlefield 5 infantry. There's just no way around it. He's the best to ever do it. He does stream on Twitch pretty much every single day at twitch.tv slash Enders. And his YouTube just hit 5k subs, so big congratulations on that, man. It's good to see it. But we can still show him some more love. Go subscribe to his channel if you like BF5. The guy is flat out probably the best player in the game at this point. Anyways, this clip right here, I chose it because it's using a semi-auto weapon. So I think you don't see too much in Battlefield 4 and the rest of the clips on this video. But in Battlefield 5, this G43 here, actually one of the best guns in the game. Now, you're just seeing exactly why he's one of the best players. His movement around the map, 
you know, his positioning, he only exposes himself to one or two enemies at a time. Just extremely smart player. And an example of that is this clip right here. Enders has found himself on the B flag on Almad. It's one of the flags that's close to the enemy base, so you're often going to find a lot of enemies here, and it's a very hard one to take sometimes. Now, if you look at the flag cap, you know, progress and the minimap, you'll see that his teammates are going to start dying here, and he will be overrun. However, Enders is one of those players where you put him in a 1vx situation, you know, 1v10, 1v9, he will often find a way to get out of it. And in this clip, it is no exception. He's playing on the edge of the smoke. This is something that he preaches in his videos and his stream. When you have a smoke available, you want to play on the edge of it. It's the best chance you have for spotting people outside of the smoke. And you can just do a lot of outplay within it. Now, he smokes the angle that he can't watch. He can watch two angles at once, but he can't watch three. So he's going to smoke one of them off and try to watch the others. But he uses audio really well here to hear where everyone's coming from. This clip is just absolutely mental. It shows how much you can do by, you know, taking in the audio signs, checking all your angles, and just the aim in this clip as well. Look, it is very, very hard to have a clip with nice aim in BF5, but Enders consistently does it. Now, at the number one spot this week, it is Focus BF himself, Twitch streamer, YouTuber, and one of the best Battlefield 4 players I've ever seen. Now, on episode one, he did take the number two spot, but this week he's not having any of it. He sent in some of his best clips, and this right here is just a minute of killing absolutely everybody he sees. And yes, it's insane, but this doesn't even surprise me from Focus. I watch his stream every single time I can catch it now. Again, twitch.tv slash focusbf, but the guy is absolutely insane, just a mechanically gifted player at the end of the day. Now, this is a typical D flag farm on Paracel. A lot of people always ask me how I find so many kills in the jet, and it's by knowing the spawn points. So I know the spawn points on Paracel pretty well. And again, on, th on this flag right here, it's in the other end of the flag where he's not flying. In that little forest there, he was killing a lot of people just because they freshly spawned there. Anyway, Scout Hurley ends up pushing him. He, he dodges out the guns somehow, still wins that 1v1. I would have died there, not going to lie. And again, two more kills to finish off the clip. Absolutely insane. Doesn't end there though. Look, I'm not going to commentate over this clip because there isn't much to even say at this point. Just watch what happens here. And now this clip right here, it's just so satisfying to see someone who's mastered the movement to this extent in the scout heli. I mean, his movement is so smooth. He uses the term schmovement a lot on his stream when he's talking about how smooth his movement is or smooth someone's movement is. But his scout heli movement is basically as smooth as Infi movement. Absolutely insane. He's going to be mowing through all these people and look at this right here. They all line up. Picks up one of the biggest scout heli feeds I've ever seen. Absolutely insane stuff, man. And then finally, this clip right here, it's a bit of a funny one, but you'll see what he does to this guy. Probably uninstalled the game after what Focus is about to do to him. So he runs through here, you know, nade the corner so he doesn't have to check it, checks the other corner. He runs circles around this kid. That, that, that guy's uninstalled at this point. He's literally uninstalled the game. Focus isn't done though. He's going to push up the stairs, hit a massive flank, and watches behind him because he hears some audio, hits a snake on him, and again, gets pushed down the stairs. Unfortunate the reg doesn't go on his way there, but an insane clip nonetheless. Yeah, so that brings episode 2 of the Battlefield Top 10 plays to an end. Huge thank you to all the plays who submitted. The series will return next week. If you're watching this video as soon as it's been released, my Twitch will actually be live right now. So go ahead over there, come say hi, and maybe chill for a while. Anyways, that is all for now. Hit subscribe if you like the content, follow your boy on Twitter, and join the Discord community, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.